Hello. So I'm going to talk today about the books that I've read in February and March because I didn't talk about the ones in February. So wrap up. Let's go. Station Eleven was great. I did a review about that. I read the Assassin's Blade novels, the, like the novellas that come before the Throne of Glass series. That was so good to get like the background and everything. And I can't wait for Queen of Shadows. It's going to be so good. September, I think is when it's coming out. I need you in my life. Next, I read When Everything Feels Like the Movies, which was, oh my god, I can't believe we got to like the bottom two in the Canada Reef thing, and we ended up winning, which I also reviewed. I'm going to link all these things down below, um, in case you don't want to go through my page and just go click it. But yeah, um, it was so, so good. Like, this was my first year in tuning into Canon Reads, and it was so much fun. So yes, that was a great read, and I really enjoyed it. My favorite read of February was The Book of Unknown Americans, which I also made a review about and raved because it was so good. Inked by Eric Smith. Didn't like it as much. It was just like, meh, predictable. We Should Hang Out Sometime was something I read. It's uh, by Josh Sonquist. It's like a nonfiction true story of like him going back and interviewing like ex-girlfriends and seeing what went wrong. And it's a cute story. I really, uh, His writing style is very fun. And he had like graphs and it was like conclusion, hypothesis, like the setup was very fun. Um, then February, the rest of February was like where my life was ruined because I started reading this wonderful series. Um, it's a trilogy called like the Sanctum Trilogy by this author that like we, we, we connected on Twitter. Her name is Medhurry Blaylock, Blaylock. And it's the girl, the boy, and the prophecy oh my god it's like a science fiction diverse wonderfulness and i can never put into words how much i love this <laughs> series and trilogy and i'm like this with the author we're like besties and it's so fun and i just was able to like fangirl with her as i was reading it like i would just tweet her when i got to a certain point she was like you don't even know what's coming next so that was fun and like she lives close she lives like in Jersey, if I'm in New York, so we're like gonna go for drinks in the future, hopefully. It's gonna be so good. We could talk about her book. What? What is my life? <laughs> Next, because of, you know, diverse read so lit, I read um, Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson, which I've been meaning to do. That was really, really good. It's like a poetry memoir. I really enjoyed that. Next, I read In Vegas when I was on vacation The Best of Us by Sarah Pacanon. Oh my god. It was like these three four couples the one on vacation and like the drama was so real and it was like the white version of like tyler perry's movie the why did i get married movie oh my god but in a book it was so good it was so good <laughs> i beginning march i read the winner's curse by marie rukowski i really didn't like it that much it was interesting like i feel like it was missing something i do want to read the sequel just to see if it picks up so we'll see I also read in March, Hold Me Closer, the Tyler Cooper story. That was so fun to go back into that world that David and um, David Levitt then and John Green created. So that was a lot of fun. And then to end the month, I read this behemoth, Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld. That was so much fun. Like, I think it's my favorite read of this month for sure. And it's just like the way it was set up, like the black is the NaNoWriMo story. And then the white is like the struggles of the girl. Like you get, we get to go through the struggle of like her editing her first draft and we're reading the finished story so then uh so good it was so good it just made me appreciate like the YA community and NaNoWriMo and everything so much more and then I lastly two days ago I finished Persopolis the story of a childhood by Marjane Satrapi it was interesting it's supposed to be like a also memoir type thing yeah like a biographical type thing I, like, you know, I appreciated it for what it was, kind of, you know, eye-opening about the ta the Islamic Revolution in Iran in that time, because I didn't know much about it, but I wasn't, like, taken aback by it. The, the, I really liked the narrator, though. She was, like, very rebellious, and, which, you know, it was supposed to be her, so it's like, well, you did that, and her parents were, like, super, you know, against the, the what was going on, so that was very cool to see. So, yeah. I think that's what you know and it, like the graphics themselves were you know it's black and white pretty pretty chill i liked it it was very like eye-opening in a way and right now i'm reading like three different things because i don't know what the fuck i want i don't know I'm reading x which is like the um ya like fiction version of malcolm x's life it's interesting so far and i'm also reading death comes to pemberley because i wanted to get back into jane austen without reading jane austen for some reason and this is fun because it's just like Darcy and Lizzie have two kids, and Jay, so does Jane and Bingley, so that's fun. 
And yes, um, up to, after that, I'll probably read All the Bright Places and the Mime Order, because I've had this on my freaking Kindle app forever, and I just haven't, I've wanted, like, the actual, like, physical thing, I think. So hopefully I will get into this, because I love the bone season, but me reading it on my phone, like, it wasn't happening. And then lastly, I bought this the other two week, two weekends, well, last weekend? Weekend, two weekends, something like that. A, a weekend or two ago. The Sister Brothers by Patrick DeWitt, which was like Hello Hemlock raved about it forever ago, and I've been meaning to read it. So I picked it up for six dollars. Yay, yay. I love like those little bookshops that are all over the city that I can just walk into. Which this one was called West Side of West Side of Books. So yeah. And then I finally I had to order this because I couldn't find it anywhere. Look at the beautifulness. Look at it. Look at how pretty. It's so pretty. So pretty. And I read the first page and I already love it, so I'm gonna get through my library books first, and then devour this bad boy. <sighs> yes, so that's the plan. I'm going to do that in April. Get through these three books. Four books. The Darker Shade of Magic for sure. And then try to tackle that pile back there. Because I still haven't read any of my books that are I own, and I want to, just so I can like either give them away or decide if I love them and keep them. Yes. So this has been my rancy rant rant let me know what you read these past month or two whenever what's good what did you like and i will talk to you very very soon bye